Miley, what's good? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity feuds caught on camera. People didn't know I was going home at night crying my eyes out because the woman that I was looking up to seemed like she just didn't want me to be there. For this list, we'll be looking at the moments celebrities let their claws come out on camera. From live TV to security footage, these celebs gave us a front row seat to their fiercest feuds. Which of these conflicts shocked you the most, and which enemies would you like to see make amends? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Kid Rock vs. Tommy Lee 15 years before the slap, Pamela Anderson's former flames were throwing down at the 2007 VMAs. Kid Rock and Tommy Lee were already on thin ice, as Lee had reportedly sent Rock nasty emails during his divorce to Anderson. A bystander took a video of the confrontation, which occurred after Rock overheard Lee talking about him to Diddy and threw the first punch. The action went down during Alicia Keys' set as she covered Freedom by George Michael in the background to ironic effect. In the aftermath of the altercation, Lee took to his website to call Rock Kid Pebble and a, quote, jealous, no-career-having country bumpkin. Speaking of Alicia Keys, has there ever been a more obvious team no one? Number 9. Dakota Johnson vs. Ellen DeGeneres While our list has plenty of knockdown, down drag-out fights, sometimes a subtle approach is all you need to get your point across. When Dakota Johnson was a guest on The Ellen DeGeneres Show in 2019, she toppled the first domino of Ellen's empire with a smile. Hey, when was your birthday? It was October 4th. October 4th. <laughs> You turned 30. I did. And um, how was the party? I wasn't invited. Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. You were invited. After DeGeneres asked why Johnson didn't invite her to her birthday party, Johnson revealed that she, in fact, did invite her. So? This time you invited me? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. How do you know? I don't think so. Ask everybody. <laughs> Ask Jonathan, your producer. The interview poked the first hole in DeGeneres' reputation, opening the floodgates for people to dig up her not-so-nice moments. By 2020, producers were even accusing DeGeneres of fostering a toxic work environment. Johnson later acknowledged DeGeneres' downfall in 2021, throwing 50 shades of shade her way on the Drew Barrymore show. Except they have a lot of parties and they don't invite me. <laughs> Is this for real? Because, you know, people have gotten in trouble for claiming not being invited to your oh party. Number 8. Rosie O'Donnell vs. Elizabeth Hasselbeck The View's title can be misleading. Oftentimes, the panelists cut each other off from sharing theirs, and the whole thing devolves into a screaming match. Let somebody answer <laughs> the question. Can I, can I weigh in? Or I'm you know what? That's moving so nasty. on. I, I'd like to That's weigh like in. Yeah. so nasty. Whoopi, can I weigh in? Teasing. Okay, guys, That's guys, rude. Like, hold really? on. The most infamous case happened in 2007 when Democrat Rosie O'Donnell Donald and Republican Elizabeth Hasselbeck went head to head. Though the argument began about their views on the Iraq war, it got personal as they started projecting their friendship onto it. When I'm hurt, as yes. I am when you were. Yes. But every but time you've been hurt, hurt, did I reach why out are you to you? Why is this personal? There's a and war going on out there. O'Donnell was frustrated at how conservative media had misrepresented her beliefs and felt that Hasselbeck should have defended her. As they got more and more heated, Joy Behar begged the producers to have a commercial break to no avail. No Ask commercial in the show? Ask it. Ask it. I'll tell you what's cowardly. Man, what? No, what are we on no. PBS? No. Asking a rhetorical question. No doubt they were soaking up all the delicious drama. Number 7. Kenya Moore vs. Portia Williams. The Real Housewives franchise is practically engineered to ignite on-screen feuds, but these Georgia peaches had one of the biggest blow-ups in Bravo history. Disrespectful, yes. disrespectful is inviting me to your event and getting in front of a group of people and not even knowing my title or who I'm From about. From 19 whenever? Yeah, I 19 whenever. I At the Real Housewives of Atlanta season six reunion, Portia Williams lunged from the couch and pulled Kenya Moore's hair after Moore antagonized her with a megaphone. You are a dumb hoe, shut up. Yeah. 
In an interesting twist of fate, Moore was so disliked by her fellow housewives that they all ran to comfort Williams instead. Williams was temporarily demoted to a recurring cast member, though her peach was reinstated in future seasons where the pair would feud yet again. Years later, comedian Michael Rapaport claimed Moore was at fault for the incident to her face, and it did not go very well for him. Well, but you are a villain. Michael, I don't need you to tell me what I am or am not. On the show. I appreciate you being a fan, though. I Thank am you a for fan. watching. Keep the cable on. Number six, Cardi B versus Nicki Minaj. Shoe happens. Cardi B's Achilles heel is her children, and when she heard Nicki Minaj was talking about her mothering skills, she responded by throwing one of her heels. <laughs> The confrontation broke out at New York Fashion Week in 2018, and after a scuffle with Minaj's security, Cardi walked away with a giant, much-memed knot on her forehead. It's worth noting that this isn't the first time Cardi has publicly thrown a shoe at a foe. At this point, it's pretty much her go-to move. When she was still a cast member on Love & Hip Hop, she warmed up for the A-list version by throwing her shoe at Asia Davies. <laughs> At least she lives what she raps. Number five, Justin Bieber versus Orlando Bloom. If you ask a certain elf, all his celebrity nemesis needs is a beauty and a beating. In 2014, Orlando Bloom went full Legolas on Justin Bieber at Ibiza restaurant as bystanders cheered. <laughs> Today, Bieber and Bloom are living happily ever after with Haley Baldwin and Katy Perry respectively, but they used to dip into the same dating pool. Have you talked to uh, Bieber yet? You guys working out? The punch happened after Bieber was linked to Bloom's ex-wife, Miranda Kerr, in 2012, and Bloom was spotted with Bieber's ex, Selena Gomez, in 2014. Public opinion of Bieber was at an all-time low during this era, and few people sympathized with him outside of his fans. Is it too late now to say sorry? Number 4. Tyra Banks vs. Naomi Campbell Before inflicting psychological trauma on a generation of wannabe models, Tyra Banks didn't exactly have the warmest welcome to the fashion industry herself. Upon meeting Naomi Campbell in the 90s, she felt that her former idol was a mean girl. Campbell's coldness stuck with Banks for years, and in 2005, she found the perfect platform to finally squash their beef once and for all. A sit-down interview on her daytime talk show. Conversation with Naomi Campbell and finally addressing the feud that has been going on for over a decade. What could go wrong? As Banks accused Campbell of picking on her, Campbell offered up generic apology after apology while letting Banks' sob stories go in one ear and out the other. I still felt like I don't think she's owning up to anything or, you know, and by you just saying that one thing, you have no idea. I, what my heart is doing now. Thank you so much. Even though the British supermodel went along with everything Banks said, she couldn't have been more unbothered. Number three, Mariah Carey versus Nicki Minaj. And you thought Simon brought the drama. When Mariah Carey and Nicki Minaj joined American Idol in 2012, their constant fighting overshadowed the contestants while making some good TV along the way. Back to the Billboard Hot 100 number one song, which you just performed, which is difficult to get. Not everybody has that. They didn't even try to hide their dislike for one another, openly arguing on live TV and trashing each other in interviews. While the feud was fascinating to watch since celebrities rarely publicly despise each other on such a level, it was also slightly sad since Carrie was Minaj's idol growing up. Are you the bitch she's singing about? Don't know. Don't know what she's singing. I didn't know she sang. I thought she rapped or whatever. They even released a song together in 2010 before really getting to know each other. It would be great if they made up and collabed again, but something tells us that's just a sweet, sweet fantasy. Everything that, you know, happened on Idol, I was kind of shocked, but you know, it is what it is, and you know, we're keeping it moving. Number two, Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier. They couldn't even wait five days. Muhammad Ali would fight Joe Frazier three times throughout his career, starting with the fight of the century in 1971. While Ali would lose the match, it lit a fire in him for their second round in 1974. Just as famous for his trash talking as his athletic ability, the boxing legend decided to rile up Frazier on an episode of ABC's Wide world of sports before the big day. 
I heard I was gonna be on the TV with this attorney so to dress like a lawyer. Today. Oh yeah. Well, I thought it was a sports thing. I would come relaxing. I think that uh, you look be good, a relaxing Jimmy. thing. You know. You don't explain why you dress like you are. While watching footage of their fight three years earlier, their commentary turned into insults, and they decided to get started on the studio floor. Yeah. This too? No. Step down, quick jump. Ali's strategy of rattling Frazier worked, and he won the rematch days later. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Solange Knowles vs Jay-Z Of course, sometimes stuff goes down when there's a billion dollars in an elevator. In 2014, TMZ released shocking security footage of Solange attacking her brother-in-law, Jay-Z, at a Met Gala after party. Caught between her sister and husband, Beyonce chose not to intervene and stood there as the two duped it out in the elevator. Although the family attempted to brush it under the rug with a vague PR statement, it became a pop culture moment, and Beyonce had no choice but to own the scandal. What's up? Fans have speculated that Solange was angry at Jay-Z for his infidelity to Beyonce, which she later documented in her Lemonade album. But the truth behind the altercation remains one of Hollywood's great mysteries. He only want me when I'm not there. He better call Becky with the good hair. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.